I've always known him, but I kind of lost touch over the years, and I found him on Instagram, and I liked his posts, but I wanted to get to know him, and that's when I DM'd him. <laughs> and I don't think he noticed me. I kind of commented on his stories and stuff, kind of hinting at him that I was interested, but I don't know if he didn't get the hint, so I had to just be like, so how you been? <laughs> <laughs> so when I first noticed Scarlett, it wasn't really after we hung out a couple times. And that's when I noticed it right away too. I definitely remember when we went to hang out uh, at, at Temescal, uh, right by Berkeley. We went record shopping, we went, went to a brewery to get some sushi, and then we went back to my place and just kick it and listen to music. Like That's when I really just felt a strong strong connection we both have had bad experiences and after that coming to each other and then learning about each other and you know telling each other what what we what we like and what we don't like what we need and what what we want to avoid in a relationship has helped us both learn and to give each other like that healthy love that we both wanted and it just feels really refreshing to learn that I will have to agree on Scarlett on just the fact that I learned how to love in general. Trying to even love myself too, I definitely learned that a lot from her. Always trying to motivate me, always trying to just give just positive vibes and stuff. But most most definitely like just learning how to just love because that's something we definitely connected with because we understood each other in that sense. And you know, I feel like we. It wasn't just her. I think we just, and generally us being together, we just helped each other how to just love one another and stuff and just show true love and stuff, so. I cherish most about Danny how selfless he is and how, how much he cares about me and cares about others, not just me. I see it in the way he cares about other people. And I'm always amazed by how much love he has to give to others and how he puts himself last all the time. He's always thinking about others before himself. And I feel like a lot of people can take that for, for granted and I never want to take that for granted. I just, I always want to cherish that. show just every type of love towards me towards family towards friends even though if she's having a bad day and i love that about her that she is just very caring and just a loving person i feel the most at home with danny when we're just talking it could be in the car going for a drive or at home listening to music, laughing. Even though we've been dating for over three years and married now, <laughs> we always have something to talk about. And, and even if we don't have anything to talk about, we just let the music play in the, back, in the background. It just feels really comfortable. And I just feel at home there with him. I'm 
really happy that I married my best friend. I am looking forward to spending the rest of my life with. I, I know she feels the same way, you feel the same way of this connection that no matter what life throws us, there will always be a solution. We'll work it out no matter what and we'll just keep fighting because living forever isn't impossible. And it's up to it's up to the person that you married with to help you get there to the end. And I definitely feel like I picked the right person to help me deal with life, not alone, but with my best friend for the rest of my life. I genuinely feel that and I'm looking forward to the many years that are, because they're, they're gonna be really great years. And I, I could already see it, even if there's bad ones. Majority of them will be good ones, I guarantee that. <laughs>